Coach Stoops did so much for this program and all, you know, always appreciate everything he's ever done for me for this program. I know that we're going to continue to play the season for him. Did he talk to you guys, Mike? Uh, uh, you know, he's dealing with a lot of things right now. This is, you know, this is really tough for him because he did so many things for this program that, uh, you know, I got to talk to him for a little bit and, uh, you know, we just got to, we talked probably 15, 20 minutes and, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty tough and because he's been my head coach the last several years and I really respect the man. He's a great coach and, uh, you know, I wish him the best of luck. I know, you know, he's going to land somewhere and do something great, but, uh, you know, like I said, we got to stick together through this time. How did you find out? Uh, I found out, um, well, they called a team meeting uh, the other day, and uh, I called the office and said, I know a lot of guys were trying to figure out what was going on because we called it so late, and I called and just found out what was going on, and I got the guys together. We all met up at the stadium club, and uh, Mr. Byrne came in. And he told us what was going on, uh, what was, you know, he was pretty quick because he knew it was going to be pretty tough on us, and we came back, I guess it was yesterday, and had a team meeting, and uh, Coach sort of Coach Kiss sort of told us what was going on with everything and his expectations for us and uh, moving forward because you know, I mean we got a game coming up but the season's not over. I'm gonna continue to prepare. I'm gonna continue to get the guys to prepare. I mean we got to stick together through this. It's, you know six games we can do a lot of things. Was it sadness, anger? How would you kind of describe the attitude? It's probably more, you know, it's mixed. It's sadness. It's you know, it's it's just shock. I mean, I know when I first found out, it was just unreal, and it sort of took a while to set in. It, it set in more when I talked to Coach Stoops. But, you know, Coach Stoops is always positive. Um, you know, he wants us best for the team. He's going to be cheering us on, and he understands it's a business. And, uh, you know, he wants us to go out there and win these six games. That's what he wants us to do more than anything. And, you know, they're trying to better the program here. I mean, everybody's got to do what they got to do. It happens all over the nation, and, you know, it's a business. Everybody knows that who has a business. It's tough. During this big losing streak, I mean, did you ever even kind of think about that being a possibility? Uh, you know, Maybe everyone thinks it you I really didn't. Uh, I, I, I didn't focus on that. I was just focused on playing. I wasn't trying to worry. It. All that's out of my control. I mean, the only thing I control is playing well on the field, and that's that's how you keep everything intact. And uh, you know, it's tough being you know players when this all happens because you know it's on us too. It's on everybody, and we didn't play well enough. You know, it's just a big. We're a big family here, and. You know, it's tough on us there, but, you know, we came out here today. I thought everybody had showed a lot of enthusiasm. Coach Kish is doing a great job. The coaches are still coaching their butts off, and, you know, we're sticking together. All these, you know, things, facing adversity, lose street, everything, we, we're sticking together. At the beginning of the season, we we, had, we made these bands that are all in, no looking back, and it, it, this is where it really means something. I mean, you know, I talked to the guys the other day. This is where we really got to stick together when everything's against us right now. We, teams could easily break up, and those teams we're about to play don't feel sorry for us at all. They're thinking, you know, we're going to go in there and get them. So we got to stick together and get better. We entered day two of the Tim Kish era, and the mood around the practice facility is upbeat still, but there's a little bit of a somber note also. Uh, I think Nick Foles said it best, actually. He, I mean, when it comes down to it, this is a business, and in the end, a business decision was made. But what do the Wildcats need to do to really uh, step out of this funk and improve next week against UCLA? You know, they just need to start being able to play kind of carefree football. You know, at this point in the season, bowl game's probably not likely, so they just need to come out, play football like they have been able to, play football like they do when they're kids, and just enjoy it, run around, and make plays. Do you think there's anything the defense can do to better themselves during this bye week? You know, they just need to go back to fundamentals, work on assignments, you know, sit in the film room, sit in meeting rooms, go over who they have, when they have them, and just work on fundamentals like tackling and not blowing reads and things like that, and just get back to the basics. By week this week, Wildcats next Thursday against UCLA. For the Arizona Daily Wildcat, I'm Brett Haupt. I'm Alex Williams.